So this question says, in a set of four consecutive odd integers, where the integers are ordered from least to greatest, the first integer is represented by x. <clears throat> so I'm going to just write down my translation for that. I'm going to treat this like a translate word problem question, which means I'm not going to just keep reading. I want to make sure I understand what I read before I move on. So my understanding here is we have four consecutive odd integers. The first one is x. That means the second odd integer will be x plus 2, right? The third odd integer will, come, will be x plus 4. And the fourth odd integer will be x plus 6, right? And you can test this out. <clears throat> if x were 3, an odd number, right, then our next odd integer would be 5, which is 3 plus 2. The next one would be 7, which is 3 plus 4, and so on and so forth. So this is accurate, right? But that represents four consecutive odd integers starting with the value of x. The next sentence then says the product of 12 and the fourth odd integer. All right, so 12, product means multiply, so 12 times x plus 6 is at most 26 less than. So at most means less than or equal to. All right, so at most means it can equal it, but it can also be less than. So 12 times x plus 6 is less than or equal to. Um, 26 less than the sum of the first and third odd integers. So that means we're going to add the first and third, which would be x plus the third odd integer is x plus 4. And then all together, we're subtracting from that sum 26, right? So 26 less than. I forget I'm running out of space, but I think you can see that. 26 less than the sum of the first and third odd integers. So I think I have that. So my first odd integer, that's my third odd integer, and I'm then subtracting 26 from those, from the sum of those. Which inequality represents this situation? All right, so let's see the answer choices now. Um, so choices A and B at least have the 12 times x plus 6. C and D do not, so C and D are gone. And then looks like for choice A, I have my first odd integer plus my third odd integer minus 26, which is exactly what I want, so I'm pretty certain that that's the right answer. Choice B looks like we have the sum of the first and third odd integers, but we're subtracting that from 26, and that's not exactly what we want to do. So anytime we see a number less than something, it means we're starting off with the something first, and then removing 26, right? If I have 26 less dollars than you have, we must first start off by knowing how much you have, then subtract 26. It wouldn't be 26 minus what you have. If that makes sense. Hopefully that analogy helps um, this to make sense. I can see how students might choose choice B here, just given the order of how this is written. The 26 comes first in order, but it is not the right answer here. You must know what you have first, the sum of the first and third odd integers, and then 26 less that means you subtract 26 from that. So our answer here is choice A.